Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 28th. Uh, We're going to jump right in here, Virgo. Uh, We're just going to do a Celtic cross this week, and I'm going to clarify in this reading, there won't be a part two this week. Have a little bit of time crunch as usual. Uh, This is the um, uh, Prisma Visions Tarot, by the way, if you're wondering what deck this is. But um, that's going to be that. So let's see here, Virgo, what is going on for you. Two aces. Um, In the uh, quarterly readings that I did, uh, a lot of signs had two aces, (laughs) which is weird. Um, No one this week, except for you, has had two two aces, but very interesting. Uh, You start off with the Nine of Cups. Really good energy, feeling fulfilled. You could be very focused on fulfillment as well. There could be like a... And actually, by the way, you have... I didn't even see this. You have three aces. One, two, three at the end, but very interesting. Uh, And what I would say here is that I feel like there is a lot of fulfillment coming in for you. There's some sort of lack of balance as far as fulfillment is concerned. Nine of Cups is a good energy, but it's almost like something is missing. You have this Justice card clarifying, and the Justice card is kind of like cause and effect. It's like if you do something, what do you receive in return? That's what I mean by cause and effect, but... You know, in a lot of ways, with the Nine of Cups, I feel like the Nine of Cups is good. I feel intuitively that you're kind of like mostly feeling fulfilled, but, you know, just looking at this reading, it's like there could be more. (laughs) Uh, Three aces. Three aces is um, a very significant new beginning, and I pretty much have said in all the quarterly readings that it seems to be a time of new beginnings where people are really focused on having a new beginning or starting something new, creating something new in their lives. Justice is kind of like a card of, like I said, cause and effect. So if you're wondering what to do, Justice says put a little bit of energy into something, and if it works, keep moving forward. In the area of your thoughts, you have the Six of Pentacles. Guess what? Same thing as Justice. Normally, there is a guy on the Six of Pentacles who's holding a scale, just like the Justice card, and he's giving to one person but not the other. The card simply says give to what works and not to anything else. (laughs) So I feel for whatever reason, there seems to be a major focus in all the readings of needing to make sure that you're giving and investing in situations that return energy to you. I mean, I've said it before, I really feel like, you know, gone are the days where we can put energy into things that just aren't fulfilling us for us and, and where we could get a result. I think maybe you know, in the past, before we got into this energy over the past like decade, maybe, uh, it's like we could probably have a job, for example, that we absolutely hated. And and we could, you know, we could kind of get through it, you know, and we'd, we'd make money and we'd be successful. You probably have a business that we hated for whatever reason, and we could probably be successful. Now, moving forward into the future, it's like we're entering into this time where I feel like if there's any lack of balance, justice, six of pentacles, not going to work. <laughs> so uh, I feel like the universe is saying it's time to kind of, you know, rebalance the scales of karma here. And that's what it looks like is happening for you. Uh, in, in your foundation, you have the page of cups. I like this. Number one, this could be love, although I don't really see this as a love reading, even though you end with the ace of cups. Sometimes I feel like the ace of cups is more like your heart, like what your heart belongs to. The page of cups really says that you're very imaginative at this time. The page of cups normally has that cup and there's a fish inside the cup and the fish kind of says, you know, is something that he's imagining, something that he wants to create in his life or something he wants to have. It could be love, whatever you want, Um, but he needs to like grab onto that fish. He really needs to make it happen. In the past, you have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is like a big opportunity or an opportunity that you've had in the past. And and, um, every single reading, it just hit me (laughs) uh, for you, Virgo. Every single reading I do for you, it kind of looks like a second chance reading to me. Every single reading that I've been doing for you lately, you have the judgment card over the next few months. I don't think this is a second chance in love. I think it's a second chance at this Ace of Pentacles, whatever this is. It's like maybe you tried to start a business in the past. It didn't work out. It's like you're getting a second chance. Maybe it's a job that you wanted. You're getting a second chance or something else. It's clearly something you've been dreaming of. You have the Four of Swords next. The Four of Swords is a card of resting, relaxing, and recovering. But normally he has like a stained glass window up here in the top corner. And the stained glass window, there's a person who is receiving blessings. And so I feel a lot of you have been like hoping and praying to receive the blessing of a second chance. It's pretty simple because to me, this is saying like you're getting a second chance to do something that you've wanted to do for a while with the judgment card. The judgment card is kind of like your inner calling. 
And it's one of those things uh, where I really feel you have to do it to kind of, I don't think we're forced to do anything in life. Um, you know, I feel like this is something you want to do. And, uh, but I really feel you're kind of being strongly encouraged to move towards something. Normally the people on the judgment card, they're like rising out of coffins, but they're still in the coffin. You know, it's a good card, but it kind of represents needing to get out of the coffin. It like says, you have to make the full transformation. The coffin represents their old life. It represents like what they have experienced in life up until this point. And the angel is like their higher self. The angel is like saying, what, let's get going. Step out of the coffin. There's something new for you over here. Two aces as your outcome here. You know, and again, you have the ace of pentacles. So technically three aces so far in your reading, but it's like that your higher self is calling out to you saying, hey, there are new opportunities in doing something that you've thought of doing in the past. I feel like you're feeling very, like a very strong pull and you probably have felt a very strong pull to do something for a very long time. Like maybe you want to travel or maybe you want to move somewhere. Maybe you want to start a business or a job or there's a certain career that you want. And you might like, I just, I get the, you know, I, I get the difference between um, like wanting to do it. It's like you want to do it, but also the limitations that could potentially exist or the, what if I, you know, mess up my life if I do this type of energy here is what I get. But I don't, I think, you know, that's a little dramatic. I think you're going to be very successful. In the area of your closest relationships, you have the strength card. Uh, I really like this. There's definitely a significant change in your relationship life. As I've said to you many times in the past, Virgo, I feel you are definitely one of the signs that has had difficulties in relationships over the past several years. And I'm not referring to just love here. I'm referring to every single type of relationship. As I've said, wouldn't really surprise me if you've like lost friends that you grew up with. Uh, it wouldn't really surprise me if you have just gone through a lot of friends and things like that. Uh, the strength card is like a card of patience, but I feel like you are just strengthening relationships in general. So you're building much a much stronger kind of network of people around you is how I see that. In the area of your future feelings, you have the Ace of Swords, love it. Uh, the Ace of Swords with this strength card is very, very good. I mean, that is kind of like feeling like you can conquer the world, feeling like you can overcome anything that comes your way. So I feel like you're feeling extremely powerful, extremely strong. The Ace of Swords is also a card of justice as well. It's kind of like a card of law and order. So I do feel that you're feeling justice, even though you have it as a crossing energy in the beginning of the reading. It's like you're feeling more balanced. I feel like you're feeling like things are more kind of going your way. And uh, your outcome, Ace of Cups, your emotions overflowing, feeling very happy, feeling like you can put energy into things and they fulfill you. So really just in general, I feel like you're feeling fulfilled <laughs> um, by the end of the reading here. It just feels like you feel like things are going your way. So you really can't beat that here, Virgo. But uh, let's see what is going on here. We're just gonna clarify through here, Virgo. With the Nine of Cups and the Justice card, you have the Three of Swords. Uh, I definitely feel that there is an element of frustration here. Three of Swords is about forgiving you know, something from the past. I feel like you need to forgive yourself. Like if you feel like you wasted your time or if you feel like you uh, put energy into something and it didn't work out and you feel like that was a waste of time. I feel like you need to like not beat yourself up and I feel like you need to forgive yourself. I don't think this is really talking about forgiving a person either. For some of you it could be, but you know, just in general, I feel this is more that like I get that feeling of like, why didn't I do this sooner? Like those are the words that are popping into my head. So again, if you're you know doing something that you thought about doing in the past with a judgment card and you're beating yourself up over it, I'd say don't, you know, Three of Swords is about kind of making sure you're not poisoning yourself with, you know, uh, regrets and grief and sadness and all that other stuff. With the Six of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Pretty much every single person in the quarterly readings had something about needing to make sure you're not calling attention to your weaknesses. I, I, I just think number number one, I feel like there's a lot that could be making us feel weak as we move through um, the next few months here. Not just this week, you know, there could be a lot of things in the news that are pointing out our lack of money or inflation or whatever, you know, and it's like all this other stuff. And it's like, I'm not saying that it's not real. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist, but you know, just dwelling on it and focusing on it probably isn't gonna be helpful. The Six of Pentacles says, focus on what you can do, right? And uh, that uh, don't get me wrong, like very hard to do during these times. Sure, I agree with you, but again, focusing on it isn't gonna help. So. Six of Pentacles really says, focus on what is moving you forward in life. And as long as you do that, you'll be fine. Uh, with the Page of Wands, I mean, the uh, Page of Cups, you have the Three of Cups, 
Um, I really feel good for you as far as socializing is concerned. Even if you don't want love, again, I, you know, this doesn't have to be love. I feel it could be love, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But um, I feel this is more a very social, community-driven energy. The Three Cups is a card of community. Anything you can do to spend time with friends, family, people who support you, strength card, right? Um, you know, I feel like those are going to be very good opportunities for you. If you want love, I definitely feel there could be love coming in for you, like through friends or through a group of people as well. With the Four of Swords, you have the King of Cups. Could be a water sign coming in for you for sure. Um, you know, King of Cups would be someone who's very emotionally stable, uh, just like a good person. So I feel like there could be, and it could be any gender, whatever gender you're attracted to. It could also be a Leo as well. You always get fire in your reading, so it could be either or. But I feel that here. The King of Cups also asks you to control your emotions. Uh, again, I feel that we are entering, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat what I see coming in the future <laughs> over the next few months, right? And uh, you know, again, I feel like there could be things that make us feel emotional happening in the news and you know all that other stuff. Um, and I said it in someone else's reading, it's like, I'm not saying that we should ignore it, but I'm also saying like, when has, you know, crapping your pants and freaking out and yelling that the sky is falling ever helped anything? Uh, it never has, you know? So um, I would say the people that are, that can control their emotions and also the people that can realize the things that we see probably are overblown, right? It's like the news gets paid to make you crap your pants pretty much. So, um, you know, I feel like if we can see that and not panic, then we're going to be in a much better position. King of Cups says there's more to the story. He represents very deep emotions. He re represents the great depths of the ocean. So uh, make sure you're watching your emotions. With the Judgment card, you have the Fool. Definitely time. You Every single reading I've done for you for the past like four years or so, <laughs> you've had the Fool card. And no joke, right, Virgo? And if you've been watching me for four years, you probably know what I'm talking about. So I feel like it's time for you to take a leap of faith towards something that you've wanted to do for a long time. And again, this is like a thing. It, I, I don't really feel like it's love. I feel like you're, what you're taking a leap of faith towards is like starting a business, starting a job, moving somewhere, something big, like a big transformation or a big change to your life. Um, and the reason I say this is because it feels brand new. Um, like the fool, he's brand new. He has completed his journey to the world and now he's starting over again as a fool. So it's kind of like a, I wouldn't really call it a starting over energy because it's like you're not starting from zero here. You're just starting some like a new journey. And um, you know, it feels like a little bit like I'm standing at the edge of a cliff, like the fool card, a little bit scary. So I feel this is something that is gonna require a leap of faith, but I would do it. With the strength card, you have the king of swords. King of Swords has been coming up for you a lot lately too. Uh, again, if you're dealing with any problems or issues legally, I feel, or any other problem, the King of Swords represents an expert. And again, gender doesn't matter. With I don't attach gender to my cards in these general readings. So it could be any gender type person that is coming in for you that is helping you with you know, legal matters, doctors, lawyers, you know, anything, any problems that you're dealing with. The King of Swords represents an expert that can solve your problems very, very quickly. So if you're dealing with problems, I would do that. It uh, could also just represent support from your family in the area of your closest relationships. And with the Ace of Swords, your future feelings, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Love it. So definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you, a lot of success coming in for you as well here. So I feel there's a lot of abundance. Ace of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles is like focusing on something permanent. You know, the, the, the way that I always think of the Ten of Pentacles is it's part of building or leaving a legacy. So like whatever you're working on, you're looking to make a permanent change. Like if you, you know, so you could literally be starting a family, building a legacy, literally, but you could also just be getting a job, something that you're gonna be, or a career that you're gonna be doing permanently. You know, it can represent kind of like that type of permanent energy. And um, that's what I feel there with the Ten of Pentacles. I also feel that there could be um, important paperwork. I just got a chill, which tells me uh, that's like a clue for me. <laughs> I kind of felt it like, um, not the chill, I'm just talking about the aside message here. I feel like there's important communication coming in for you with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, really good card actually for like contracts, um, signing contracts, really good card for any type of paperwork. Um, like if you're buying a house or, or signing a contract for an apartment, like a lease or something like that. Uh, really good for paperwork or approvals. I might have said that to you in your mid-monthly or in your quarterly reading as well. I'm getting like the same thing. So if you're waiting for anything like that, I feel like there could be approval or you know paperwork you've been waiting for coming in for you. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles, of course. I mean, you know, I always say that the Seven of Pentacles is basically your card, Virgo. It's a card of analysis. 
And uh, I feel like you're just kind of looking at things. You know, it's my card of is the juice juice worth the squeeze? Is it worth investing your time, effort, and energy into something? So I kind of feel um, that after everything, that you're making sure the things you're working on are providing results, which again, I don't really have a problem with that in general. But uh, this is a really good reading. I like this. I really feel like you feel like you're kind of conquering things with that strength card and the ace of swords. Like I said, like you can conquer the world if you wanted to. So really nice energy and just looks good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.